two rock climbers just shattered a record once considered impossible when they scaled Yosemite's El Capitan. The legendary granite cliff face is about 3,000 feet high. Fear of heights? Not an option. And as Netta Iranpour tells us, according to these guys, taking their time yesterday wasn't either. I look quite bad, but actually I feel really good. One hour, 58 minutes and seven seconds. That's all it took Tommy Caldwell and Alex Honnold to speed climb up one of mountain climbing's most storied routes. I wasn't sure that we were actually going that fast until I saw the timer and saw 157 when I got to the top and I was like, oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Until they took on this challenge, no one else had conquered the nose of El Capitan in less than two hours, 19 minutes. Everybody's like, could it be done? Could the two-hour nose actually be climbed? And so it had that sort of allure to it. The duo scaled Yosemite's towering granite formation, rising above 3,000 feet from base to summit. Now that's taller than about three Salesforce towers. Their feet Wednesday could be likened to a marathoner breaking the two-hour barrier, which has never been done before. It's fair to compare this to a two-hour marathon because it is sort of the same cardiovascular output. You're still pushing hard, you're using your whole body, you're trying hard for two hours. This was the third time they tried to scale El Capitan in less than two hours. Their previous efforts in the last week came up short. Guess what they're thinking now? The El Capitan climb could be done in under 90 minutes. We could go up this evening. You know, just do another <laughs> lap. <laughs> I think I'm good. This photo now shows the view halfway up the nose of El Cap. Those would be Alex Honnold's shoes right there. These guys insist the route they took was easy. Either way, they've rocked those climbing records. Netta Irampur for KPIX5. Ooh, I'm getting a little woozy just looking at that picture. Well, Tommy Caldwell actually had two close calls during their training and survived two falls. He's lucky considering that two men died Saturday after attempting that very same climb.